All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Great, Great Pretender, Pretender, episode 19. Yep. The last episode was... Wow. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. Uh, we had some doubling back. We mm -hmm. had a flashback. And mm -hmm. now... Uh, a Edo stabbing? Gawa... Well, yes, yes. I was going to say Edogawa might eventually clap back. But, you know... Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Does Our someone... Edamame is currently in a bit of a rough place. Yeah, yeah. No salt for uh, mm -hmm. this one here. No. Yeah, yeah. No, no tears to shed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're learning about Laurent, and we seem to have a part one that we're in of his backstory. Yeah, which is a rough one. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I want to see the reason why he ends up becoming this more kind of Machiavellian, like kind of big scale kind of guy. How he kind because, of recovered from this shit. Right, because this feels more intimate and more yeah. like, human and personal. So mm -hmm. why did he either abandon all that or is he trying to hold both of those things in tandem? And what does that say yeah. about his motivations now? Right, right, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, mm -hmm. yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Dorothy has been stabbed. Oh, damn. Oh. Wow, okay. Okay. So that's the tie in with dad. Mm hmm. Yeah, no time for that, my guy. Shit. No way. Why does that sound like the old lady that... Yeah, it is! It yeah. is! Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, it's because it happened to him this way as well. Gotcha. Damn. Alright. So you just got... You just got hmm. conveniently lucky and... Yeah. Wow. Okay. Boom. Huh. Okay. Like every language. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the wizard. Oh, uh, the name of the ark. Nice. Okay. Rules are rules. Okay. Sure. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, you know! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. All that and stuff, yeah. Zampalo! <laughs> he actually did blank out! Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh. Right, 
Hair done up and everything. And slowly but surely they fall in love. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're not wrong. Damn. She's just so full of energy, like, yeah. Shit. Alright, is this part of the game? Part of the setup? Maybe. Nice, nice. Yeah. Got it. Beautiful. Oi. <laughs> hey. Uh. So you assholes. Like, yeah. I, don't get so excited. I should be like, what? I, I thought walk. you were right behind me. Like, why, why didn't you jump in the car? Right. That's a massive bed. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Little Lord Laurent. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> やっぱりなんも分かってないようだね。結婚とは全時代的な妹しい契約のことよ。お互いを縛る呪いをかける必要なんかないって。呪いをかけたいんだよ。うん。もう君を自由にはさせない。そういうのが苦手なの。小さい
Oh shit. Oh shit, it's the same, it's the same thing. Oh, okay. So he jumped right. in front of him yeah, yeah, same yeah. way. There's, okay. there's Oz. Okay, okay, so they use- And that's how he gets in close. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> yeah. Right, 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 right. Hmm. Damn! Called out the exact childhood dream he had, too. Yeah. Yeah, and then of course he's gonna get caught with. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh. Uh -huh. Ah. Right, and then he'll kidnap her. Right. Hey, I know that spot. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. There's a big golden pavilion that they do tours around that's like the golden pavilion in okay. Kyoto. But the fact uh, that she would get like a private spot to like sit there watching is like, it is like... Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. The backstory continues. Yeah. And the the whole thing was a setup to get Laurent. Yeah. Okay. And it's something that in a lot of ways feels very very apropos given that Edamura was kind of used the same way. It's uh -huh. basically then, be it became even a part of their MO to take the ways in which previous jobs worked kind of luckily and just manufacture that intentionally. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. the idea that that element then got used for Edamura, like kind of, uh, like just a little bit, works really well here to sell the idea that this is how they've done things. Right. Laurent was not always supremely competent and did everything perfectly. Nope. It's that all the times that things kind of luckily worked out. They were um, really good at improvising. Well, right, but they would then take those things and manufacture them, thus showing the pretender aspect of these luckily coincidental things, mm. but also yep. that their luck was bound to run out and this job will be where it finally runs out. Right, you can't just keep relying on things kind of just, just working the same way. Working and being manufactured that, and that yet combination. It was able work. to get them really far. It got them so, real far. You know, so it's the of course they they'd rely on that, you know, too much because yep. relying on it had worked and then all of a sudden it doesn't. And we'll get to see exactly how. Yeah. I like that we're spending a decent amount of time on this backstory. Yeah, because um, I want to really care about these characters. Yeah, well, we and, know two of them well, already pretty well before this. Well, it's the characters, but then also the plot because yeah. it ties very closely into the the why of the situation that we're in now, True. right in present time. So, getting to see it in detail of exactly how it went down, because if like that's that's important because if the dad is going to, you know, explain all this to Edamura. Mm -hmm. When Edomura has already fully, really, in truth, adopted his position as a mm -hmm. trafficker, right? You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to really, like, really sell it that this is a legit thing, that it's not just another, you know, mm -hmm. like ploy or, or something like that, right? Right. You know, like, you know, it's not some loyalty test or, or no. whatever. No, it's um, it's it's he's being bamboozled again. Mm -hmm. We're having some very. Uh, dramatic, violent thing happen in front of him. Um, his father yep. comes back to end up kind of getting him set up to be primed to then get things going later. Mm -hmm. um, of course, this is absolutely fucked up that they're doing all this to oh, Edora yeah. because yeah. Th obviously the twist is that everyone's still alive. Mm -hmm. It's just the question of why did you need to get him in this deep if not for just revenge or because there's something really specific they need to have him be able to do, which is where I got my idea of she's being actually trafficked right. in they their system. They weren't able to actually get her out after after using her as sort of the, the Right, they kidnapped yeah. her and now it's the, I need to find her. So it's the Laurent's humanity is still in there and it's specifically tied to um, uh -huh. uh, yeah. to his, his love here. Yeah. And that would also, if they end up doing that, that would be kind of in line with the general tone that the show has done up until this arc of the, 
everything ends up resolving happily. You know, yes. even if even like in the situation with um, Cynthia, where she doesn't yes. actually get back together right. with Thomas, right? right. It's the she they, resolved that. She though. resolved it. They yeah. had their happy ending, and now the story continues, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. I feel like that could totally be the way that they do it. And if you're going to introduce effectively a new character here, mm -hmm. right? Because we, you know, we had the dad before, even though he wasn't like a present active character, right? So that's it's kind of two introductions, but right. And we have already addressed the idea here that we didn't really know him; we knew half of him. So right. the idea that she won is bringing up the no he's literally or i'm not even she won um, the other girl the main girl mm -hmm. uh, dorothy is like he's like jekyll and oz you know like there's, yeah there's two sides to him here mm -hmm. he, he's a very good liar yes a very good liar yeah so that's yeah that'll be that i'm with with the amount of time that they're spending on the backstory here mm -hmm. uh that makes me optimistic that they'll spend a comparable amount of time to the conversation then with edamura and his father after the backstory is concluded, yes. because this very much seems like it's the, this is his father telling him sort of the story of what happened, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so now, okay. Right, and there's fun motivation that I think is really, um, like, okay. So when they introduced the the dad's whole, like, I was actually, like, yeah. trafficking and stuff like that, I, I very quickly kind of felt like there was a, there's something else to that story there. Mm -hmm. And the idea that Laurent, like, you know, was wanting, you know, Edamura in this case here, it felt like there could be a very obvious setup that Laurent and the father were working together at right, some point. Right, because the, the desire for Edamura didn't have, it didn't really make sense entirely, right? Like, Edamura was a good con man, mm -hmm. but why specifically him as opposed to theoretically exactly. finding somebody else? So the idea that it's the, no, I need you so that I can get the dad into this. Because sure. if I don't get you, he won't wake up from his slumber effectively. Uh, sure, yeah, he's, he's in so deep that he has fully adopted this as right. his identity right now. Right, it might be that it was a, oh, he literally is adopting it. It might be also that he was Jekyll and Ozing it because he's the best liar possible. Right, and after being in one form for 10 years or whatever, you know, it's like the, How do you well, know? that's, hmm. That, yeah. yeah, so even if he didn't need exactly Edamura, it's the, ah, uh, this will guarantee that yeah. if there's any worry that his father wouldn't be able to do it, no, I'll bring Edamura right. into this, that'll work. And then. especially if, uh, Dorothy did end up dying, it mm -hmm. would make sense why Laurent would be like, no, I couldn't afford to take risks because when you're staging so much on like everything needing to work perfectly and especially no one betraying you, mm -hmm. no, this would be like real, real, real bad if, yeah, yeah. if somehow yeah. it didn't work, right? If, yeah. he, if he turns out he was too deep, you know? Right, and that's kind of the... Yeah. It's kind of the romance and charm of this show is that there's so much convenience, mm -hmm. so much just right. we, happening off screen. We never say how they were able to make it so that the knife that Laurent decides to buy happened to not actually stab Dorothy, right? Right. Or or why, like, oh, no, maybe she did actually get sent to the, you know, intensive care or something and managed to recover, and that's just part of the... Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. These people are competent, they're extremely talented, mm -hmm. but we're going to show them fucking up here. Right. And I'm excited. Because in some ways, the heist gone bad is one of my favorite like starts to oh, a yeah. story. Because it's the idea that, oh, shit, we're riding that high. It's happening. It's yep. great. And then, boom, you crash. Yeah. And that crash, that like impact, can hit so hard. And since we already know what the splash damage is mm -hmm. of you know the Edamura family being just destroyed forever. Oh, yeah. it's, it's like setting it up as a tragedy, yeah. Oh, it's, it absolutely yeah. is a tragedy. And, and, and thus, mm -hmm. Laurent, you fucking weasel. Like, you uh -huh. set all this up from the beginning mm -hmm. so yep. that you could either save her or get back at the people that, you know, hurt her or killed her or took her oh, or yeah. whatever. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. Either if, way, you shit bag, mm -hmm. you. I wouldn't be surprised oh, if it wasn't God. even to try and get Oz back, but it was the, um, Oz is the one weak point here in right. that he actually was from our crew. Sure. And so I need to make sure that he just won't be a problem. That you know? also could be it right? too. Like, like it's just get the son here so that that way he can kind of 
neutralize Oz, that mm-hmm. situation will be taken care of, right? Yeah. Because, you know, who knows who he is at for all this time, right? Right. And then, you know, while that's happening, I can do whatever. But yeah, yeah. it's... It's it's, uh, it's it's really cool because I, I feel the way in which they're humanizing Laurent here. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I see sure. his humanity, but I also love that we're not just completely throwing away the this is who he's been like and now we know why he's been that way almost exactly so it's just like oh yeah oh and and on top of that oh they they brought something up here which i'm I'm not sure if they're just setting that up as they they're going to do a similar thing to handle the situation in the present day Mm -hmm. or if they're setting it up so that then it can be addressed in present day but the yeah we'll we'll set up and we'll we'll buy the kids and then of course we're just gonna you know put them into foster care right Either that's been happening or it hasn't, right? You know, with with the present time with the stuff that Ed Amour has been doing. And so, you know, they mm. don't necessarily have to go into that. Mm. But, but it see, would, it would really help me personally to, yeah, if they went into that because that's, oh boy. Yeah. 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 I think the, the dark reality is that for this job, no, Ed Amour has been doing everything, mm-hmm. everything, um, because in order for them to have set all that up... They that, needed to fool him. Well, they needed to fool him, but it's no. not about him at this point. It's the idea that yeah. they're still trying to take down both wings of this organization, the Chinese right. and the Japanese one. Mm-hmm. So we need all of it to be genuine. And while it's not actually much time that's passing, like it's not actually that much time that's passing, which is more my just uh-huh. kind of gripes with it in general. Yeah, a couple of months and suddenly he's this completely different person. I mean, he did have... Uh, yeah. All three of them died. Yeah, no, uh-huh. in his uh-huh. mind, you know. Yeah, he, so, I mean, he killed his own father, right? Yeah. Like, right. That's yeah, yeah. That's gonna fuck you up. Uh-huh. But it's it's more the then he went and did all this stuff because mm-hmm. he's got nothing, so that he could then understand how his father survived all this time, basically. Which just feels either like an ask that Oz made of Laurent and how they set all this thing up, like. Sure. But that even then feels right. a bit like yeah, like and then and, and then you you set up like you call up a bunch of your con buddies to like come in and be the buyers, and then you just for that two months, like you know, <laughs> you you've just been buying all the kids that they have and sinking you know hundreds of millions of dollars into this or whatever, right? Like, I mean, I or however you know, yeah, we'll, know we'll see we'll like see the the reveal moves, as but. to how they 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 bamboozle them. Yeah, uh, with this, but I yeah, like... this episode focused primarily on the love story, mm-hmm. and yeah, I, I, I like these two characters. Yeah, I, they're they're both ridiculously crazy people, but mm-hmm. I, I, I like them. It's too bad that Laurent ends up kind of becoming, I don't know, the like, person we know now. The wor- well. <sighs> I just, I have so many questions to ask Mm -hmm. him effectively of his character when the show's like over. Like, yeah, like there's a bunch of things that are still up in the air with regards to him. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. This is, this is going to be a doozy. This is also a bit kind of gutsy pacing wise to have a flashback be this big at the end of a series. Yeah. Like they've, they've, uh, the show has banked on because these people are hyper competent. And we're going for the the fun of the heist and the mm-hmm. con and the, all that stuff, right? Right. That we're not going to go too much into detail of yes. how the things happen because these people yes. are really good at what they do. So just go with it. You, you know, know that they could do this and so the how doesn't really matter. Right. And as a result of that, they're able to keep things moving very quickly. Very quickly. Which helps, you know, keep the entertainment high, right? Yeah. Like the just the and general also to be a energy lot of progress, and fun. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And yeah. so the fact that they're doing something different here definitely gives this arc... A, a more serious kind of like you know connotation, right? But it also is but it's a, saying that this arc is going to be going for at least another two or three episodes, probably the rest of the series. Probably the rest of this, yeah, the series. Yeah. I, I would, I would, gen, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it too. I think, I think, I think there's 22 doing. episodes in Great Pretender. I think. I'm not I think that's sure. Right. Yeah, I think it was 14 and eight was my believed thing of the whole season split, but that was just a gotcha. Netflix fuck up. Okay, that would make so, a lot of sense so yeah. then, because so yeah, then it would be that. Yes, there's going to be at least yeah. Right, three you more. could do like episode twenty is wrapping up the backstory and Edamora being fully filled in, so yes. that way he's be- brought they back act on board in the second to last episode and bring about the conclusion yeah. of everything there. And then the final episode is like the final final bits of the job and maybe and wrap epilogue, up epilogue yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. But all right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.